All right, everyone, I greet you with your time in your area. I remember myself, Okoye Timothy Mark. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Okoye Timothy Mark. Also, like and comment for better updates and videos on Secrets of Dealing with Confession, which students find difficult, and other issues in academics that will help students to excel and do exploits. Today, I want to, to teach on the secrets of dealing with the gossip functions, just part one, part one, part one. We all know that we have the special angles 0, 30, 45, 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree. In the first quadrant of angles, I want to tell you that with what I will do today, if you can only remember the sign of these angles, you can get for all the four quadrants, all their signs: cosine, tangent, cosec, second, and cotangent with ease. So I will show you the very easy way of getting this. So that you can always manipulate this anytime. Anyway. And why you need this to know this is one, it will help you in your mathematics, it will help you in your further mathematics, it will also help you in solving physics questions. And sometimes when you go to log reading, it helps you in chemistry, PL and PH. Of course, for those of students who are preparing for their jam and a post UME, of course, even the school starts. Oftentimes they give you angles and you need to find the sign or the cosine or the tangent. And you know the situation in the hall. There is no calculator. I will help you to do it. But with what I will do now, you will can handle it with ease. So let's start with the signs and cosines of these angles and tangents and other trigonometric ratios of these angles. We'll start with those with in the first quadrant of angles. First quadrant. Now to get the sign, these are angles theta in degree. These are sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, uh, cosec theta. Cosec theta is one of our sine theta. So sec theta, which is a uh, 1 over cos theta. Where there is no where there is no co, there will be co in the reciprocal. Where there is co, there will be um, no co in the reciprocal. So the sign has no co, but the reciprocal has co. Now cotangent, cot theta, which we will write as cotangent, 1 over tan theta. So we'll look at them now, one by one. So we're in the first quadrant. We still move to the second, third, and fourth quadrants and other higher angles. We we'll start with 0, 30, 45, 60, and uh, 90. The easier way to remember the signs of these angles is this. Write number from 0 to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Put square roots in each of them. Square roots in each of them. And do it all over 2. Each of them all over 2. All over 2. Remember what I did again? Let me explain to you once again. You write these numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. We start with 0 n at 4. Put the square root of each of them and do L, L, each of them over 2. Now, if you take it, the square root of 0 remains 0. And 0 over 2 is 0. Square root of 1 remains 1. And 1 over 2 is also written as 0 0.5. Square root of 2 over 2, where well, rationalize, still gives you 1 over square root of 2. All right, it's 0 0.7071. Square root of 3 over 2 still remains 
1.7321 over 2. That gives you 0 0.8660. Square root of 4, we all know that it is 2. 2 over 2 gives you 1. Now, to get the cost is to write it upward. Write it to her upward. So, you bring 1 here, yeah? which means that cos 0 is sin 90. You bring this one here, which is the next one, so 3 over 2. This is the next one, so 2 all over 2. The next one, 1 over 2, and the next one is what? 0. So cos, cos 0 sin 90. Cos 60 sin 30. Cos 45 sin 45. The reason is because 0 plus 90 still gives you 0. So cos of 90 becomes sine of 0. And sine of 90 becomes cos of 0. 60 plus 30 will give you 90. Therefore, cos of 60 becomes sine of 30. And sine of 60 becomes cos of 30. You can see that 45 plus 45 is 90. Therefore, cos, 9, cos 45 is sine 45 and vice versa. Now, tan theta is actually tan theta is actually sine theta over cos theta. So if I know the sine, I'll divide by cos. So that means if I do this one over this one, I'll get what is here. So 0 over 1. Anytime you use, you divide 0 by a number, it will give you 0. Except 0 over 0. You don't use 0 to divide. 0 will give 1 by 4 divided. This over this will give you 1 over sub 3. Just like I shown 1 over 2 divided by sub 3 over 2. By knowledge of mathematics, this 1 over 2 times 2 over sub 3. That is 1 over sub 3. Hence, hence, tan 30 is 1 over sub 3. And this 1 over sub 3, or 1 over square root of 3, is, is written as 0 0.5774. This over this, of course, that's same, so it's good 1. That is why the angle whose tan is 1 is 45 degrees. This over this will give you sub 3, or which you can write as uh, 1.7321. And this over this, as I told you earlier, you don't use 0 to divide, will give you undefined. Undefined infinity. Now coming to cosec, you know that cosec is 1 over sine. So 1 over 0 is to reverse undefined. 1 over half is 2. Anytime you divide anything by 0 0.5, if you watch my initial YouTube channel, is double of that in 3 over 0 0.5 is 6. 3.5 over 0 0.5 is 7. So 1 over this, 1 over sub 2 over 2 will give you sub 2. You don't like to it outside that, which is now 2 all over sub 2. That is now sub 2 and sub 2. Over sub 2. So 2 takes one of them. Therefore, 1 over sub 2 over 2 is sub 2. And sub 2 is 1.414. 4142. So I close mention. 1 over this sub 2 over sub 3 is 2 all over sub 3. We know that 1 over sub 3 is 0 0.5774. So if you love it, that will give you 1.1547 because this is an approximation. 1.1547. And finally, 1 over 1, of course, is 1. Second is 1 over cos. So if you take it away, 1 over 1 is 1. This is the or. If you know for cosecant, just write it upward as we did for cos and the sign. You write it upward. So 1 comes up. If you still take it that way, you still get it. So in here it comes down 2 over sub 3. Here it comes sub 2 as usual. 
Here it comes to, here it comes what? On the panel. Fantastic. Contagent becomes one over time. Or in other words, uh, cause a uh, cosec over seconds. So one over time, one over zero is undefined. One over sub three becomes sub three. One over one is one. One over sub three becomes one over sub three. And one over one defined is zero. Anything divided by undefined is zero. Because undefined is like infinity. So anything divided by it is zero. Infinity is something that cannot determine its value. So from this, you can get other quadrants, like second quadrants. In second quadrants, we'll see what to do in second quadrants. Here, our theta is 180 degree minus the original theta. The original theta. 180 degree minus the original theta. So from this, you can get other values. Other values. So here is sine theta here, cos theta, tan theta, cosec theta, sec theta, and cos theta. In this quadrant, the only thing that is positive is sine. Sine is positive. This is negative, negative, and if sine is positive, of course, cosecant will be positive because one over positive is still positive. These other ones will now remain negative. So you now come here. 180 minus zero will give us 180 degree. So what we have here. It means that 180 degree has exactly the same thing for zero, but nowhere to put minus and plus. So which means now, for 180 degree now, I will transfer everything for zero here. I will start with zero, then since the cost is minus, I will put minus one. Because second uh, tangent is zero, plus zero and minus zero, that's still the same thing. I will go here, here is infinity. T minus 1 and also another infinity. That is for 0. That is for 180 degree. So 180 minus 30 is 150. Therefore, I don't need to start pressing again to get the trigonometric ratios of 150 degree. Just transfer everything for that here. But nowhere to put minus. And we are not to put minus. So I'll just have everything for that here. 1 over 2. So 3 over 2. But here will be minus because cos is negative. Here is also 1 over so 3. But here is also what? Minus. Then I have here 2. Minus so 2 over so 3. Minus so 3. 180 minus 45 is 135 degrees. Therefore, I will transfer everything for 45 here, but I should know where to put minus and where to put. So here is so 2 over 2 minus so 2 over 2. Minus 1, so 2 minus so 2 minus 1. 180 minus 60 is 120 degree. So I don't have any business, just transfer everything for 60. Here, you have this 1 over 2, and but I should know we have to put minus and we're not to put a minus. So, this is sorry, rather this is 3 all over 2. This is minus 1 over 2, rather, and this is a minus or 3 because I'm transferring it for 60 here. So, this becomes 2 over so 3. Minus 2, minus 1 over so 3. Finally, 180 minus 90 is still minus 90. If I transfer everything for 90, it's still final that it do not change. So I have here 90 degree. Here is not 0. Undefined. Negative undefined and positive undefined are the same thing. Just as negative 0 and positive 0 is the same thing. Removing 0 from something 
is certain as adding zero to that thing. So here is the um, one. Okay. What is here? Sorry. I start with one. One. Okay. Zero. Undefined. One again. Undefined. And zero. That's for second quadrant. If you transfer to third quadrant, which is also you will, here we have that it is theta here is 180 degree plus theta zero. So here in this third quadrant, the only thing that is positive is tangent. Tangent is positive. So, if tangent is positive, other two are negative. So, if you take it. Sir. So, in the top quadrant. Hold on. Hold on. So, if I ask, you see, go back here is your sine theta, which is negative. <coughs> your cos theta, which is also negative. Your tan theta, which is positive. So if here is negative, then here is also negative. Cos sec theta, negative. Sec theta, negative. Cot theta is also what is positive. Because if tan is positive, cot is positive. So 180 plus 0 still remains 180. That means I'll transfer everything for, for 0 here. Tell me. Carry 0 from that place, transfer here. 0. Of course, negative zero, I'll say minus one. And zero again. Undefined. Okay, minus one and undefined. If you check it down, it's still the same thing we have here. Therefore, it's the same thing we have here. One eighty plus thirty is two hundred and ten. So, I, I, if I'm looking for trigonometric function of two hundred and ten degree, I don't need to bring myself. Just if I know for 30, I will leave them here, transfer them here. If I'm looking for 30, I will use the way I showed you for finding the sine, cos, and tangent. So I transfer everything for 30 here, but I should be careful to know where to put minus. Like here, now minus 1 over 2, minus 2 over 3, all over 2, and here it comes what? 1 over 3. So here is minus 2, minus 2, so 3. And of course, here is none, so 3. 180 plus 45 is 225 degree. 225 degree. Which if you upload it, if you show the card for 5 and put it here, da! So when you come here, here it comes. Minus so 2 over 2. Minus so 2 over 2. Here is now 1. Minus so two, minus so two, and then one. Why it equals sixteen? Of course, it's obviously two hundred and forty degree. Two hundred and forty degree. We transform everything about sixty here. There it comes. But know that minus is here. So minus so three over two, minus one over two. Then here is so three. Of course. Minus 2 over so 3. Minus 2 and then 1 over so 3. Why is it plus 90 is 270 degree? Transfer it for 90 here. But here, remember, minus is in the sign. Minus 0 undefined. Minus undefined and 0. That's for the third quadrant. You now want to go to the fourth quadrant. You still apply the same circles. I'll show you the circles for fourth quadrant. In the 
fourth quadrant, the angle here, theta here is 360 degree minus theta zero. So in that case, you bring in here only the only thing that's positive is cos. So if sine is negative, this is positive, negative, negative, positive, negative. So if that would be the case, you look at the angle here, 360 minus 0 is 360. So carry everything for 0 and put here. So here is zero because negative and plus zero are the same thing. One, the same thing, okay? One, um, zero, yes, zero, on the fine. One, and there, on the fine. So you can observe that 360 degree and zero degree are the same. The secret behind this is that where you start drawing a circle is where you end the circle. Where you start moving around the point is where you end it. Because the angle in the circle is 360 degrees, the angle in the point is 360 degrees. So if, I, if you start drawing a circle from this point, which is zero degree, you end it at the same point, which is now the 360 degree. If you start going around the point, this is the point you want to go around to, and it's where you come to. Where you start is where you end. Where you start is zero degree. Yeah, your time is the 360 degree. I'll see through more lights on this. Now, 360 minus 30 is 330. So, if I'm looking for 330 degree, just transfer it for 30 here. But be careful on where to put minus. So, that's minus 1 over 2. So, that's minus 1 over 3. Or 2. Minus 1 over 3. Minus 2. 2 over so 3 and minus so 3. 360 minus 45 is 315 degree. So that's everything for 45 here. But nowhere to put minus. So if you follow this now, So 2, so 2 minus 1. 360 minus 60 degree, of course, is 300 degree. So I'm everything for 60 here. That is minus so 3 over 2, 1 over 2, minus so 3, 2 over so 3, 2 minus 1 over so 3. 360 minus 90 is 270. Of course, you still see that you amount to this, is that right? So, I'm going to for 90 here. Here it goes minus 1. 0, undefined. Minus 1, undefined, and 0. Which is exactly what you have here. Then you have the secret of finding the special angles in the first, second, and third quadrants. Repeat. If you can get the sign, you can get other ones. To get the signs, I told you the easier way to remember is, is to write number from 0, 0 for 0, 0 to 4, for 0, 30, for 5, 60, and 90. 0, 0, 0, 0. Put square roots, and then write all of them over, over 2 over 2. So square root of 0 is not 0. 0 over 2 is 0. Square root of 1 is 1, 1 over 2 is 0 to 5. Square root of 2, 2 is not a, it's not a perfect square. So, square root of 2 is, you can also return as this, square root of 2 is 1.414, divided by 2. Square root of 3 is 1.7321, by transmission, which is, after it's 1.7320, this person. Alright, so, you get this, and this by 2 again, square root of 4 is 2. So, get the cost right up, upward. So, the 1 here comes here. So, instead of writing, so you bring the 1 first, bring this one second. This one goes the same line, this one forward, this one forward. So, where tan is sine over cos. 
and this over this 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 over this is this this over this is this this over this cos second is one over sine second uh, uh, second is one over cos cos is one over tan and I will explain how to get in order for four quadrants so with this I would want you to try for these angles having given you the values sine 40 degree is 0.6428 cos 40 degree 7660 and 40 degree which is this over this is 0 0.8391 okay mm. so you can now go to set 40 set 40 cos 40 so guess for the following angles 140 degree, 220 degree, 320 degree. Now, sine 50 degree, 0 0.7660. Cos 50 degree, which is now is 0 0.6428. Time 50 degree, 1.1917. So you can now get the following angles 130 degree 230 degree and 310 degree Remember I want you to know this sine 40 is cos 50 because 40 plus 50 is 90 degree cos 40 is sine is sine is sine 50 because 40 plus 50 so we can now prove this well that sine theta is cos 90 degree minus the theta. Cos theta sine 90 degree minus the theta. That is the secret of the trigonometric functions part one. Thank you. Or still subscribe to my YouTube channel for question more to mark, like and comment. Bring other topics that you may find present or difficult and they will be handled. Thank you.